Good morning. I'm about to make my morning matcha because I'm working from home and I actually just finished the Discovering End-to-End -end Business Processes for the Intelligent Enterprise by SAP. Uh, as you may have known from my channel, I've done a lot of trainings for Workday because I was a Workday Financials consultant at Accenture for about three years or so before I moved over to Google. But uh, Google also has a huge culture of learning, so I was just kind of curious about it. When SAP reached out to me about this course, I just did it anyways to have a sense of how it's like with SAP versus Workday versus Salesforce and all the other trainings I've done. So I feel like I have a lot of credibility in this area because I've done maybe like over 22 trainings in Workday. And then from there, I also have a very busy schedule of doing SAP and uh, this doing this training on top of my day-to-day -day job, my cat sitting side hustle and, and doing my YouTube. So this is gonna be a pretty good depiction of how it's like for if you were an experienced hire or if you were a student that is basically trying to do this on top of your coursework or your actual day-to-day -day job as well. So if you ever wanted to consider like changing into the SAP world or transitioning into the SAP world, this is the video for you. So the first thing I wanna do is make my matcha like I promised I would. Where is my cup? So nowadays I make matcha for myself uh, if I'm at home, but to be honest, it's like if I'm in the office, I get the Google matcha. So uh, where's the milk? There we go. So the first thing I want to talk about is the actual criteria I'm going to be measuring this actual review on of this course. From the very top to the bottom, number one is ease of learning with course format and if you need prior knowledge before the course, which I think is very important because if you're a student, you probably won't know, but at the same time, like, do you need a technical experience you, or not, not technical experience, technical background? But yeah, so if you were a student, then this is probably going to be really important for you because do you want like do you need to have a business major? Do you need to have a computer science major to do this? And I'm going to just answer the quick answer of no, you don't, which was actually a pleasant surprise because when it comes to like the workday one, you kind of do have to to know the context, but I'll explain a little bit later on that. And then value towards career as an entry level or aspiring technology consultant. There's a lot of like bogus courses out there that are just there to be there. But I wanted to see like how much value does it actually have. Now that I'm like in the system of knowing like how Workday Financial Consulting is like or consulting in general, I have an idea of like the applicability of the actual courses to your day to day. And especially because Workday is also an ERP, it's very... Uh, I wouldn't say apples to apples, but it's like apples to oranges, very similar, just different in terms of what you're going to look for and if the course is going to prepare for you. Because a lot of the people that go to my channel, they want consulting experience and they don't have the experience or that they do have the experience, but they don't have technical experience. So technical consultant versus management consultant. So I think this is going to be also an important question to ask if it's just a course to learn or is this an actual course that will help you become a better or become a technology consultant. Then the other one is value for time and money spent on the course, which I think like if, like I said, if you're doing this as a full time with your full time job or if you're a student, then every single second or money counts because of your student like me. When I was a student, I had like student loans. I did not have money. So this one thankfully is free, but now is it worth your time compared to like all the other courses out there? Stay tuned for that. And then the other one is how this course compares to other courses I've taken, such as Workday and Salesforce. I kind of alluded to that with other the points here, but this is just really, if I just wanted to get a certification or if I have like a summer available and I have nothing to do, no internship, what can I start to do and which one should I prioritize? So this one is also probably good if you want, if you're comparing between the Workday Salesforce one and this one. Just a little fun fact here is that Workday, you do need to be part of an implementation team or implementation partner. So the, sal the Salesforce one, you can kind of do on your own, but the SAP one, you can also do on your own. So if you're looking to do Workday, if you see someone who's actually saying like, hey, do this, do this course, it's probably a scam, okay? Just be aware, be aware of that because I actually have some subscribers that told me that before. And then lastly, who I recommend this course for because not every course is going to be for specific people and also why would you take this particular course or what you could use this course for if not for a certification because at the end of the game, there is no certification. This is just kind of like the beginner of the intermediate course and the intermediate course is the one that you get the certification. So from there, let me just go into the actual 
a review of this course book. Let me first make my coffee, make, make, make my matcha, okay? Got my little Khalifa Farms Oat Barista Blend. And I got my matcha. Oh, got my cut water, forgot about that. Oops. As I'm waiting for that, I'm going to just go over the very first one, which is ease of learning with course format if you need prior knowledge before the course. I went through this course for about like a week or so and finished within a week from like four to five times and each of them were about like one to two hours each. So it took me a total of 10 hours and this is assuming that I had prior knowledge because I knew how Workday Financials was so I also had the subject matter knowledge of doing that because Workday did not require uh, does require you to kind of have some kind of understanding of the area to be able to even learn and understand what was going on. Otherwise, it's just going to be like words and concepts just flying through your head when you do the training because they don't use that opportunity to train you on like what financials or what accounting or the process of procure to pay is. In this one, actually, I found it was pretty interesting because it showed you number one in the context of an actual client, the buy company. So you have an idea of like, okay, maybe if I know another bike company, like how it actually applies to a company. It's not just theories or concepts to understand. They actually applied the concepts. So you have an idea of how to visualize the process of how a business happens. Granted, you do need like a basic understanding of how business work. If you don't even know like what profit is, that what profit is, which is like revenue minus costs and might be a little bit hard for you. You do have to have a solid understanding of how general business work, and I'm not saying like you need to understand all of the financial statements or how marketing works. I'm saying that if you worked at, like let's say you worked part-time at a restaurant, you understand that there's costs and you understand that there's revenue and you understand like all the labor and the cost of goods sold. In this case, it's like, if you work at a sushi restaurant, the fish, the rice, like you understand generally what goes into a business because an ERP system is like an enterprise resource planning software for businesses. So naturally you have to have an idea of how business works to piece all the things together. So that's probably the most I would say. And I do think you do need a solid understanding of English too. Uh, I know while we have some international subscribers here that are not from the US. So if you have a good understanding of English, Definitely, you may want to brush up on it because there was no language change that I could see. It was all English and they didn't really have subtitles except for certain areas. So it's not something that you can do. There is videos and there's actual uh, like walkthroughs where you click through like a slide and then you get graphics and then there's some text here and there. But if you don't understand, you're probably going to be very, you're, gonna, you're probably going to have a difficult time working on this. So. Be a English speaker that does understand vaguely how business works. You don't necessarily need to know the nitty gritty, just like use your common sense in some ways. Like you can't think that like there's no, nothing that really goes behind the scenes and just business just happens. If you have an idea of like how business somewhat works, like, oh yeah, you need advertising to bring people in, then sure. Or you need to produce some kind of product to create a product. You can't just magically expect it to be created. And number two, value towards career as an entry level or aspiring technology consultant. Uh, so this actually what I was going to talk about is that I think this is a good course for entry level and aspiring technology consultants because you do get that context. You don't get as much of a technical role here because you do get an implementation like place that you can play with around. But uh, ultimately, I think if you're looking to have a facilitator to ask all the deeper questions as to like, hey, I'm trying to find this, this particular area and I don't know what to do, or I want to do X, Y, Z, and I don't know how to do that, then you may want more of like a mentorship in that kind of way. But when it comes to the actual tenant or the area where you can play around, you could do that, but sometimes you're just kind of there like po pointing around, you might not know. So I would say it's really good in terms of the actual knowledge and the course. But if you want the actual technical know-how, which to be honest, most people, if you're interested in becoming like a function consultant, you don't know too much about it. You don't have to know too much about it. You just need to know how it translates from like the real world to a technology. And even so, a lot of times, like when I did Workday, like I don't really know much either. When I first started out, I had to kind of do it by doing. So then from there, 
value for time and money spent on the course like i said i took about 10 hours but that was because i knew about the like financials world or the erp world if you did not know or if english is not your first language it might take closer to like three weeks but if you're thinking about doing this on top of your day-to-day -day, i think it would actually work it's just all self-paced so it's not like you have to force yourself to do eight hours or you have to do homework there are quizzes but you can still move on from the quizzes if you fail but i think it's if you're looking to get a certification after that i think you should try to know all of the answers but it's very self-paced if you only cared about the hcm part if you only cared about the financials part then you can easily just make your own course or do only that particular section but I would say that it's definitely good value for money because it's free and it's good value for time because it's self-paced. So you can do it maybe like on your every lunch hour. And that is actually possible to probably do like one chapter per lunch hour if you really are strapped for time or if you wanted to do it like right before you go to sleep, which is actually kind of heavy information. But if you could, if that's the only time you can squeeze, you can definitely do that because it's all self-paced. <laughs> And then how this course compares to other courses I've taken, you kind of heard it from like the other L bullets that I have from here is that really just I thought that compared to Workday at least, it's more accessible because Workday you have to be part of an implementation partner. And also you get a little bit more of the contextual information of like how a business works. But you do still have to understand how a bit business generally works. Otherwise you won't be like, you will be like, what, what, why do you even need a software for this? Like, is it that hard to do that? I'm like, yes, for bigger companies, it really is that hard. You do need to track everything. Uh, so now from this, uh, what I recommend this course for. So as I mentioned, it's self-paced and you can go from specific sections to all of the sections. And this is also a good way to be able to have a sense of, okay, do I really want to do SAP or do I even want to work with ERPs in general? Because if you do that, then that means you can actually have a sense of how it's like before you start paying, before you actually go for certification, because it's a really good understanding of how a general ERP is like. It's not just for SAP. And also SAP is one of those really big ERP systems that people still work on. So there's a lot of SAP consultants and it's not going any, and you, it's not going away because people still want SAP. So it's good for if you even want to go for an interview and you want to know a little bit more about the HCM side of SAP, like success factors. But it's also really good for if you just want to have a sense of it before you go for the real deal. But overall, there's really no reason why you shouldn't check it out. It's free. It's accessible without even creating an account. I was like, wow, I can actually do this without creating an account. The creating account only really goes in if you wanted to like keep score of your knowledge check or your progress in the course. But if you're just kind of doing it in a self-paced way, you can just click into it and check it out for yourself. So this video is supposed to be short and sweet so you have an idea about it. But overall, I think it's really important for you to realize that this is free. If you have time and you're trying to transition, this is literally lowest hanging fruit. You should definitely check out this course discovering end-to-end -end business processes for the intelligent enterprise. And it's really just, if you just click the, the link down below, it does not cost you anything. Uh, it technically says 22 hours, but you can go through it really quickly. Or if you do the self pace or you choose exactly what you want, you can definitely do it in less than 22 hours. For me, I did the entire 22 hours. I just did in 10 hours because I had an idea already, so I can kind of skip through it. But it's also nice because it does, it does the entire thing in the context of a client. Uh, and there's like interviews and everything so you can see the consultant interviewing the client in particularly this particular area of like let's say the whole area is on procure to pay you'll have them asking about procure to pay in an interview format so this is where you can visualize how the consulting is like when it comes to the work tip ones i did it's just straight off like here's instructions of how to use the tenant for this exact way but it doesn't give you like how it's like to be as a consultant Given that it's really gonna be dependent on every single consultant, this is at least a good way to see like what are the kind of questions to ask and they have downloadable content, which I thought was really nice because you could download it and then when you're actually in the real world, you can just refer back to it because they have really good graphics that are easy to use. So I'm now finally starting my work day. And the last thing I wanted to say about this course is that I don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't check it out. You can definitely take a look at it for yourself and see if it's worth your time because you don't have to sign up. You don't have to pay anything to be able to see everything. You can even go through it. You can definitely do everything at your pace, which I thought was pretty cool. 
Um, there is like the possibility to get a certification to go for the next level up. So if you want to have like a trial period to see how it's looking, looking like, or you just wanted to prepare for an interview, or you just want a basic sense of if an ERP is even for you, or if SAP is for you, uh, then definitely want to check it out. Hopefully you enjoy this course review. Maybe there'll be more to come. Let me know down below if there's other courses you want me to review. I can reach out to them and say if they can give me access to it. But also I feel like this is the one question everyone asks me is like, hey, how do I become a tech consultant? And a lot of it was technical upskilling. One of it is also like get some consulting experience. This one you're not getting experience, but you get to like walk through in role playing, not exactly role playing, but you see the actual graphics of an interview. So you have a sense of how it's supposed to look like. You have a sense of how a consultant plays in this role, but definitely check out the course and comment down below if you want more of this. Thank you. Bye.